Hello, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. Today we'll be working on a challenge set up by Chandu.org. A reader of Chandu sent in a uh, problem. An HR manager saying that she has the group of employees uh, that have been uh, have a performance rating attached to them that she wants to divide them in groups of the top 5%, then the next 15%, the middle 65%, and then the next 10% and the bottom 5% based on the performance rating. So I've downloaded information, which is this. So you have your uh, employee name and their performance rating. So 2.9, etc, etc. And the output needs to be uh, like this. So highlighting uh, the name and the performance rating and giving a color coding depending on their how they stand on their performance within the range of uh, ratings. Now there's been a lot a lot of answers already in the um, following the post so I'm not going to give uh, I'm not creating anything new I'm just going to show you the uh, uh, what the answer is by most people. So the way we do this is to first of all uh, select, uh, work out rather, the threshold um, for this particular range to decide where you stand. If you have, where do you need, what sort of rating do you need to get to be in the top five percent? And we do that by using the percentile, percentile formula, whereby uh, set up percentile, the range, which is F6 to F. 33 so basically all the values of performance rating and then in this particular case it will be for the top 5% it was one less the sum of I6 to I6 which is basically 5% which gives you 95% so to qualify to be in the top 5% you need to achieve at least 4 a performance rating of at least 4 to be in the next in the top 20% you need to achieve a rating of at least 346 and basically the formula is the same with the only difference that what you're looking for is for the percentile which is 1 minus the sum of uh, these two I, uh, basically I6 and I7 so the top 20 percent etc etc so we worked out the thresholds where basically this color coding needs to be applied. So if you get a performance rating of four or above, you get a dark blue. If you, on the other hand, are the in the threshold where you're in between 1.5 and two, you will get a color coding, which is the dark uh, pinkish kind of color. And we do this just by applying um, conditional formatting. So once we worked out the threshold, we come over here, we apply conditional formatting. I've already done this, as you can see. So I'm just going to have a look at manage rules. And these are the formatting rules which apply to the current selections, which are then extended to the whole range, as you can see. And what it does is sort of sets uh, five different rules and to each rule to each formula it applies the different uh, shades of coloring uh, so for instance the first one says okay if the formula if f6 which is this one here so where the PR is 2.9 is higher or equal than k6 which is that one there so you're a top performer in top 5% we want to give you a blue color then give it the blue color format it as blue color. If not, it goes on to the next rule, which is okay. If the number F in F6, so the 2.9 is uh, between uh, 346 and 4, then give it the next color and so on and so on. And then it applies to the whole range. So from E6, which is this one, to F33, which is the, um, which is this um, cell there. So this is how you apply the conditional formatting. What I've also done, because what happens is once you've done that, it's all great, 
because you're you can see quite easily uh, who the top performers are and what the ratings where the ratings belong in what category however it doesn't actually help in quickly just summarizing who's the top performer who belongs to what category so I have created a performance category um, so for instance I call the top category A the second one B C D E and I basically create a if uh, series of if uh, statements whereby if the number is above the um, the threshold it gets given a certain category if not it goes on to the next one is it checks is if higher than the next one if it is it gives the next performance category and so on and so forth so then you end up with all the employees having not only a PR um, number but then also performance category A, B, C, D, E and what this helps you with is quite simply okay I want to see who's the bottom performer category E there you go you got Isla and if you want to see the top performer you got A Christy, Daniel and Tom if you want to see okay I want to focus my training efforts on categories D and E let's have a look I will be looking for giving more training to Ireland, Nancy, Rutherford and Zambi. So in this way, not only you can see it, um, the performance rating and highlight visually which ones, who belongs to which uh, category, but you can also select, the, select it through a drop-down menu in this way.